looks funny when I have lashes on but no other makeup. So I, I did my lashes and my mascara first because nobody wants to watch me do that for half an hour. Didn't take that long. but <laughs> So I'm going to go in with my Saint Custom uh, 3D foundation palette. And um, if you want a color match, there is a color match form in my milkshake link. So if you want to click that and then just send me... Um, a couple of pictures. Just make sure you follow the instructions so that we can quickly match you and I don't have to go back and forth. I am going to prime my face though. I am oily so I have to prime my face. If you're not somebody who's oily um, you could probably skip the the primer part but um, I know a few people that do prime at least a little bit so and I'll show you some products but um so this was just my Tula. This is the Glow and Get It. Kind of just like a eye brightening serum. Uh, sorry, I got so many primers now. All right, so I'm going to go in with two primers. And like I said, I'm oily. So if you're not, you could probably just get away with something like this. I think this was like $10. I had to get it on their website. But this is the e.l.f. Uh, Jelly Pop Dew Primer. And this will form like a, a kind of like a, a barrier and kind of give... Um, <coughs> your skin some or your makeup something to grip to so it smells really good too but yeah it just kind of sets up and <clears throat> all right i'm gonna pull my hair back just a little bit maybe try to keep it out of the way Okay, and then I go in with this other primer, and this is the Benefit Professional. This is the light primer. Um, it does have dimethicone in it, so you have to be careful with your primers uh, because dimethicone can cream makeup slide off. Sorry, my bad. Uh, so I'm just putting this in my most oily T-zone. It's not oily there. Oily here. It really looks weird with lashes on. All right, I'm gonna to try to make this fast for you guys. Okay, I'm just gonna let that set down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in um, with a translucent powder, a loose powder. And like I say, I am oily, so if you're not oily, you're not gonna to need to do this step. But since I'm oily, it just helps to absorb the oil before I put any of my cream makeup on. All right, so just a, so I, this is a dampened, uh, this is the dampened perfector sponge. And then, I just dip it into the powder and just a little bit. I don't need a ton, just enough to absorb any excess oil. So set that aside. All right, I think I'm finally ready to start. So I'm gonna go in with the 3D foundation brush and this will provide you with a medium coverage. And like I said, this is my Saint Custom color palette. So you're gonna get your contour, your highlight, your brightener, your bronzer, your blush, your illuminator, and then you can even go into the eyeshadows and stuff. I love the eyeshadows. So my main color is mango. Um, I'm kind of light right now, so I'm going to go in with a mix of mango and amber. I'm dipping in the mango first and then the amber. And I'm going to add this to the lower half of my face and then just up here. And then everything else is going to kind of be brightening, brightening with my brightening color. And you can choose many brightening colors. Um, I'm thinking about ordering the color sunlit or even linen. Sunlit will help to cover any purple or redness, especially underneath the eyes. So um, you could swirl this, whatever you want to do. I like to kind of keep it light right here. So I'm only putting a little bit right here of the mango and amber. Um, you will want to go in with your normal highlight color if you have larger pores on your nose like I do. And I'm kind of just buffing that in there. I have some really stretched out pores right here that I'm still working on. Um, I have a anti-aging channel, La Bella Vanity, over on YouTube. And um, I'm my Soon Sue Shining Peel is supposed to be here today. I do do TC, TCA peels on my face. I haven't started this some or this winter because I've been waiting for some product to arrive from one of my vendors. So um, anyway, this peel is TCA peel, but it doesn't have the downtime of the flaking. So I normally use Platinum Skincare. So hopefully I can get started on that and get my um, 
pores looking better and just, you know, get that collagen induction going. All right, I'm gonna go in my, with my brightener color June and I'm gonna do this in the center of my forehead. So basically, this is where I want people to focus, is right here. This is where I want everyone to focus. You know, see, look at my eyes, you know, stuff like that. So that was probably way too much. But, all right, I'm gonna go tip of my nose and then I'm gonna go right here where I left that amber off. And you can come down here if you want to, but you gotta be careful because if you're if you have any texture or anything like that, it's gonna show it. So you gotta be careful where you use your brightener. So, um, all right, under my eyes, I'm gonna flip the brush over to this pointy side. Oh, I actually want to color. I'm gonna color correct a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with uh, the uh, lip and cheek Frenchie, this peachy one right here, and just dab it on any blueness. And not a ton. I don't need a ton. Now this doesn't get rid of bags, but it can help to camouflage. So peach, or I guess should say salmon or orange is opposite of blue on the color wheel. So when you're trying to hide um, color disc discoloration, you want to look at the color wheel. So opposite of that on the color wheel is what you're trying to camouflage. So if you are if you have redness, it's gonna be green. If you have yellow, it's gonna be purple. So if you have so purple, it's gonna be yellow. So that's how it works. All right, so got my color corrector on, and now I'm gonna go back in with my color June and no, oh, sorry, this side of the brush and just in the corners of my eye. I don't like a ton of product under my eye because I am getting older and it can showcase your wrinkles. So I'm gonna go back in with this side, Amber or June, my bad. I mean, you're gonna have your own specific color, so that's where I come in and help color match you. And now I'm gonna pat. So I'm trying not to move the product around. So I'm stippling and patting, just like that. And I'm gonna kind of blend those two together. If you have any redness right here, that June is helpful because it has a green undertone. Okay, all right, so I got my highlight on and I like to do my highlights. So if you like to do your contour first, do that. I'm going to take my dampened blender and just pick up any excess color real quick. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my contour, same brush, but I'm gonna go in with this side. So I do like this uh, 3D brushing. You could probably get away with doing your whole makeup routine with that. All right, um, <clears throat> I have been going in with the color Muse, which is actually a highlight color, but I think I'm going to just uh, stick with um, contour today. So I'm actually gonna go in with a combination of Astoria and Stone. Maybe, is it gonna show up? Maybe I'll do Astoria. Sometimes it's hard to get on these brushes. So your contour is going to be a bit stiffer than your highlight because you don't want it to move. Come on, you can do it. It is contouring, but I'm going to go in with a little bit of indigo. I have a large forehead. If you have a short forehead, you are not going to contour your forehead. I have like pretty much a five head. Keep losing hair. And then if you're having issues with your um, color like looking patchy, stipple it on. So just like this, stipple. Make sure you get up into that hairline, which for me, holy Hannah. But these products will last you for a very long time. Like your highlight color is gonna last you from two to three months, just depending on how much you use. Um, your contour is gonna last you about six months. Uh, it's Your blush is gonna last you a year. It's And it's very cost effective when, I mean, your initial purchase might be sticker shock, but really, no, it's like $100, so not, not bad at all. Sorry, I'm gonna go back in with my color June, just to brighten up a little bit more. Um, so, a lot of people are just, I don't know, it's not expensive at all, in my opinion. I'm going to go in, I actually don't like this brush for contouring. I'm going to go in with my, this is actually a powder brush, and I like it. I'm going to go in with Color Indigo right here. And my face, my facial lines are already kind of harsh because I'm losing volume in my face as I age. So most people say to get, come out to the corner of your eye. When I do that, it's very, very harsh. My cheekbones are just like, ugh. So I'm just gonna keep it back here. I'm not gonna go any further than probably my eyebrow. 
the corner of my eyebrow. Not, I don't know what I'm trying to say. All right, and I am not going like my under the bone is right here, so I'm kind of like on top of the bone, so which will help to keep your face up a little bit more. And then you can do this. You don't have to do this. If you're like carrying a little bit of extra fluff, you're going to make sure you go behind the ear though. Because you don't want some weird line right here. And then blend it down. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Um, you notice that I'm not really blending my contour out right here. That's because when I put my cheek color and my bronzer on, it's going to lift some of that color. What is going on right here? Sometimes I forget to blend right there. Well, I kind of went up a little bit higher with this one. Here's the great thing about this foundation. Watch. You make a mistake, wipe it away. With your, um, that was my highlight color. So now I'm gonna go back in with that indigo. And then I'm gonna come up just a little bit higher to match this one. There we go, that's better. So I don't gotta, I don't have to wash my face, start all over because I messed it up a little bit, nope. Okay, perfect. All right, if you're gonna do your nose, I have to use like a small brush. Um, I'm gonna go in with the color indigo today. You don't have to contour your nose if you don't want to. So it's, my nose is larger down here than it is up here. So I really should leave my contour down here. And I'm not really trying to make my nose any smaller. I'm just trying to define it. So, I gotta find a mirror. So I'm making a V right here underneath my nose. And indigo is kind of like a dirty color. Right here, I want to lift up the tip of my nose, so I'm gonna kind of like come across right here. This could make it appear less harsh. Now I'm kind of just gonna blend that out just a little bit. So, I don't know, you kind of got to figure out your nose shape and all that. And... and I'm still not perfect at it, so it is what it is. But I'm just going to take my beauty blender, my perfect sponge, and lightly, I mean lightly. <laughs> Blend in a little bit. Okay. Oh, uh, I keep forgetting I should do that after I bronze my nose, but it is what it is. Okay, so I'm done with my contour and my highlight. Now I'm going to go in with my blush and bronzer brush, and I'm going to go in with my cheek color. I think I'm going to choose pop right here since I'm wearing a red shirt. It's a really pretty color. And just right above that contour. Still trying to keep my cheek color back here to lift my face because if I bring it down here... I'm starting to lower my face. But you gotta figure out your face shape. So if you're a rounded face, you know, you're kinda, I don't know, it's makeup, this bond, just do what looks good for you. All right, bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the color Bella right here. And I'm just going to flip it to the fluffy side and swirl it around. I'm actually gonna take out the Muse color and do this. So you see how I'm sweeping up, which is blending my contour. Oops, did not mean to do that. I like to bring it down to my neck just a little bit. Oh, 
Okay, sorry, I gotta pick this up so I don't forget. Okay, okay, fix that. Now I won't have to pull it out again because I just moved it up like that. Okay, so I'm done with that. Looks pretty good. Now I'm, oh, I forgot to put my eye primer on. I've been trying to get my hands on like the Peas Louise for a while. Can't find it, it's sold out everywhere. And that's by Morphe, I guess. Peas Louise is some, I don't know, British rock star. I don't know. Makeup artist. I don't know. So this makes it harder with the lashes on to do my makeup. But... Oh. Okay, while that's setting up, let's do my eyebrows. So I'm going to come in with my spoolie. And I just colored them the other night with the... Uh, men's like the just for men beard and mustache stuff so I don't really need to fill them in too much really just the front of them and I'm just trying this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills I don't know this is just like a flicker pen I don't even know how to use these really so I'm just gonna come to the front I just like make it dark. So, <laughs> funny. I do have some brow stuff coming. Um, should be here tomorrow, hopefully. And it's just like you tap it on, like you find your, your eyebrow shape and then you just tap this stuff on. So hopefully it'll work well. See, I have like dry skin right here, even though I exfoliated last night. So that June color is kind of emphasizing that. So if you're seeing that, then your color, your main highlight color is too light. So I might even like try switching to a different, like maybe amber or something. Okay. I don't know. For somebody who's sick and I say, oh, I don't feel like, I didn't feel like going live. Like I'm sure I'm a chatty Cathy. All right. This has like a little spoolie on the side. And trust me, it looks better on camera than it does in person. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to wet my spoolie. And I see a lot of people spray into their, their wax. I don't like to do that. All right, so this is the Saint, the eyebrow wax. So you just get your spoolie wet, do this. I mean, you can use like your primer if you want to, your setting spray, I don't know. I just keep water in here. And then this is going to really keep those brows in place all day. I love this wax. Like this can give you like those really big fluffy brows if you want to. So if you fluffed them up too much and you see all these hairs because you haven't trimmed them, just do this. And we'll get them in place. Okay, now that the primer has set up on my eyes, I'm going to just dab on some more translucent powder just to really set that up. All right, and then I'm gonna go to my Alexis Vogel Shadow Chamois. So I have had this forever. I actually need to wash it. And this is normally how I like to do my makeup. Um, this is really, Alexis is the one who taught me how to do my makeup. I couldn't, I couldn't do eye makeup before that. So um, God rest her soul. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from like the corner of the mouth to the corner of the eye right here. Just like this you could do this with like a business card whatever you want i'm wearing kind of red today and reds look really good um, on green eyes but i'm gonna go in with the color cocoa which is brown i actually need to move this eyelash in but i don't want to and right in the corner is where i'm concentrating that color it's like sticking out too far all right so and then up here i'm not going any higher than the crease. Now I'm gonna kinda just work it in. Flip this brush over. 
because if you take it up much higher it's going to create a funky line especially on hooded eyes which i have we're all going to get hooded eyes as we get older just how it goes all right so just like that so it's kind of like lifting the bottom of the eye up a little bit okay Side. Same thing, back in with that cocoa. And we can always touch up the um, mascara. So you really want to concentrate the product on that outside corner. And then just bring it in a little bit right here. This is just kind of like a, a cat eye look. So just like that, like so easy. And then I have like all this beautiful color right here. And like I say, you really gotta be careful if you have hooded eyes not to go up too high. Just gonna try to kind of soften that a little bit. And I saw that Makeup Geek got a, released a new brush set, eye brush set that I'm actually thinking about picking up because it's like $45 right now. Now I'm gonna go in with the color pomegranate. So this was cocoa right here, and then this one's pomegranate with the larger side of my uh, eyeshadow brush. Dip it in there a couple times, and then I'm just gonna kind of like blend into the crease. Blend above it, and just keep blending up to the brow. That was only two taps of pomegranate, pomegranate folks, so. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be 23 minutes long. I'm like, I was really trying to be fast, but. Okay, so beautiful. That is so beautiful. And I did like kind of like bring it up right here a little bit more just because I think it helps to lift the eye right here and give it some dimension for me anyway. All right, I'm gonna go in with the multitasker and the flat side of it. And now I'm going to take the color, I'm gonna go in with cupcake. I don't need anything shimmery right here. And I'm just going to kind of tap that in there. Um, it's uh, kind of hard with the, your lashes already on. Good enough, I'm gonna go in with this brush again and kind of just blend it right here, right here. Perfecto, done. I'm gonna go in with my BK Beauty brush. I'm gonna go in with Unicorn. Thinking about ordering Glamazing, which is a uh, powder illuminator, and then I can just use that right here. All right, so I feel like this just helps to like pop that inner corner. And yeah, I do like a bit extreme, but it is what it is. Uh, back into that cupcake, I'm just gonna do, do right here, da -da 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 -da, and right just at the tail. All right, guys, that is it pretty much. Um, maybe I will do some lip liner here. I'm gonna do red. Should I do burgundy? So these are just like little Sephora pencils. I think I'm gonna do the burgundy versus the, uh, the brighter red. Just line my lips.
should have exfoliated first. So that's actually more of a uh, dramatic look than I want. So I'm going to come in with lip color. I'm going to go in with uh, pink grapefruit. Kind of just tone that down a little bit. Oh man, a couple last things before I'm done. So I gotta finish my nose here. So I need to come into like a illuminator color. I'm gonna go in with the color Pearl. This is a um, cream. So I'm just gonna highlight. Next to some of that contour, just to kind of like brighten that nose up a little bit. All right, good enough. Top of my uh, top of my cheeks. This is rose gold illuminator. You can do the top of your cupid's bow if you want to. All right, I've got to call it good. So now I have to set mine because I am oily. So going back in with that same Cody Airspun powder. I love it because it's cheap. And it works. See how it doesn't like dull the, the illuminator? Okay guys, that is it. So that is the look for today. I'm gonna set it with the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Flawless Setting Spray. Love this stuff. Okay, but there you go, that is the look for today, just cocoa, um, pomegranate, and cupcake for the eyeshadow. Um, I love the Alexis Vogel cat eye technique. I just, you know, especially as you get older and you get your eyes get more hooded, um, you can still, you know, get that cat eye effect. But, well, that kind of ruined my hair. I'm going to have to curl it a little bit. But, nah, I don't care. <laughs> so, there you go. There's the look. I'm sorry that took 28 minutes. I was uh, jabbering a lot more than I thought I was going to. So, I hope you guys have a good weekend. Um, if you want a color match, there is a color match form in my milkshake link in um, my bio on, on the main page. Um, just make sure you follow the directions when sending me the color match information. And um, yeah, oh, don't forget the artist birthday bash is coming up on Monday. Uh, so Monday, January 17th. Um, it's going to be kind of like an all day event, event up till five. I think they cut the cake at five o'clock. Um, but if you purchase on Monday, you can get these like cute little um, hairpins um, while supplies last. So I'll go ahead and kind of like put up a little story of that. Um, if you're interested in becoming an artist, just comment artist and I will send you the information because Monday is the day to sign up because you get a $65 credit um, towards you know more makeup when you purchase your kit so $199 for the basic kit and then $399 for the pro kit I love the pro kit because you do get eyeshadows and you get like six brushes um but yeah so you get like a $65 credit in the U.S. $90 credit in Canada um so if you're looking to be an artist I love it um it is very um I don't know I feel like a family here so and I love the makeup so it's easy to sell so um yeah I hope you guys have a great weekend bye thank you for watching